never not a dose! Alright, Frog Prince. People love this part as well. Ooh, hey, Mike. Is Hagatha still in the hero or the the minion? Ah, we got a seven rogue Valdirex. Sorry, I forgot to update that. There you go. What are we going? Block. We played Kakusan yesterday, right? Let's try the more unique one. Let, 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 let's go block. You don't get this thing very often, right? The hero? I don't think so. Just take a two here, probably. A solid two. I mean, it's possible to make a Kaz anything, but it's unlikely. Sunwell isn't so good anymore. The random spells are unlikely to be very good. And even if they are, it's not really that good anymore. It's just slow. Usually passes your turn, roughly. Didn't know Kazakhstan was dropped. Well, I played a Kazakhstan Druid yesterday, which I'm editing to go on YouTube, actually, Valderek. So, uh, might be on YouTube next week, huh? <laughs> yeah, I probably prefer one Lightning Storm to a Frostbite. It's just really nice to have, right? These suck. We'll take Bunker. Interesting. What about here? What do you think? Elementals? Overnight, I got gifted subs to Greg, Red, and Judge. Those are some legendary peeps here, Kui. I don't think you can use any trackers on mobile Perusa, unfortunately. Vapor. I can see it. We have to think about block. Take a brass heavy. Digging? Scorpid? Room. Sleep. Feral. Schooling. Cows? I don't know if it's still a thing. Probably the one here. I want uh I want a miner or a, or a bar barrel buster, right? Like, come on. Forager? Well, Prangler for sure. Really need that too. Schooling again. Shroom or Projectionist? Because uh, you could, you could, right? You actually could. Do something like mini shutter block mini into scorpion into projection shutter block mini. Crystal broker is in the battle cry. There you go. Amazing lately. But I'm coming off of one of my worst one and a half weeks. Awesome. I was averaging more like seven. Six point five to seven. Hey Dealy. Play another fatigue. <laughs> hey, this is this is the priest life, Lana. <laughs> um, Crystal Broker is Mount Manitha, it's not Battle Cry Zygo. Are there any other arena streamers besides most arena streamers checking out? Yeah, there are more. There's a lot of arena streamers. Dreads is also an arena streamer. You mentioned Greg Mofundi is also an arena streamer. Upmaster is also an arena streamer. Ivanovich, CK now as well, started up. Yeah, let's go Shroom. It's my third excavate. I'm just thinking about it. Did Hex here? Gotta be the Miner, right? Let's do it. Okay, you ever go Cycle? They start with Redbeard, goes into Coffee, and then Dreads for the finish. Sweet trifecta there. As long as the middle's the strongest, right? That's not too bad, awesome. I went from about 8.5 to 6.5. 9, actually, maybe. I was closer to 9. And then I went down to 6.5. Right, so perspective is always key. If you come in and look at just my best run, and you go, wow, you're doing amazing, and you skip all of the bad ones. 
um, you will always feel. That's why I tell people, compare to yourself, not to others, because you will bias yourself towards when you're doing really well, you'll look at people who are doing better and feel like you're not doing well enough, or vice versa. Yeah, exactly, Zeus. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying for your sake, right? Awesome. Just to feel better about your own runs. That's a good average, you know? Let's go, Cactus. Yo, what about now? <laughs> like, sure, I can get the answer right, Murloc. Right? But... Then what am I shadow blocking? Nothing. <laughs> Do I have minions? <laughs> Ooh. The thing is, the Murloc actually doesn't work. Um, the tri tripling... Tripling the Azerai Murloc doesn't change anything in your deck. Is it, from a 6 cost, it becomes a 9 cost that costs 6. And then the second time it evolves, it looks at it as a 6 cost and becomes a 9 cost that costs 6. And it looks at it again, it's a 6 cost and becomes a 9 cost that costs 6. So it just becomes moot. I think I take Nimbus for more minions. I, I could uh, shudder Nimbus, although I could Marspawn hit schooling and stuff, right? Which is then minions. Hey, the Nimbus. Wow. <laughs> Yo, what? There's no way, right? I need... <laughs> Whatever. Marsh Nimbus <laughs> Uh fairy tale for us for a little draw actually Oh my god what Remember remember about what was it two weeks ago I said I have never drafted a seven excavate deck and I proceeded to draft two that week and this one now right if I pick this You can see it as a VOD, but my voice doesn't come through, Zeus. Do you ever go Panda? Like, because I have Shudder Block? Like, like, I'm, this is a serious question. Oh, that's true, T-Bear. Yeah, that happens, Zeus. The thing is, what is Panda gonna give me? Lightning reflexes. Ah, uh, whatever. Toots, my goats. Thank you for the two month resub. Uh, remixed or Marsh Spun? Yeah, this is my record for number of excavates in a deck. I now have one eight, two sevens, and one six are my highest numbers ever uh, drafted. And this is my eight. Eight excavates, four shrooms, three diggings, and a miner. Unfortunately, the legendary payoff is really not that good in this deck because the more excavates you have, the less minions you have. Uh, but we can make it work for sure. One of the weaker ones. It could be better in certain decks, but technically speaking, we have two more excavates. 
I mean, technically speaking, lightning reflexes could be conductivity digging, right? And uh, I could Mars spawn to triple conductivity, or I could Mars spawn actually into triple lightning reflexes into conductivity digging with each one. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, Jonas, to get stuff like uh, the elemental one for the three. How do you rank the legendary excavates? Uh, you can nowadays you just can't see things in uh, in a vacuum anymore. I would probably say the warlock one is the worst. And then the shaman one. And then... The warrior one and the death knight one are probably the best, I want to say. I think this deck can possibly go 12 for sure. Oh, the mage one's also very good. The paladin one is also good, but I think less good than the others because it fills a role that the deck usually already meets. Yeah, we're triple fish. I don't like the triple fish there so much, to be honest. I mean, they're all very good, right? They're just all very good cards. A 4 mana 5-5 five, five is already very good. When I say the worst one, deals 7 to your opponent, heals you for 7, and plays a 5, and they're just so good. Like, it's just so hard to compare. When the cards are that good, it matters more what else they can do, I feel. push face here. The idea is next turn I can go Pebbly and play Feral Spirit. <clears throat> and then also one of these. Mm, Colossals and Titans, some were clear outliers though. This is the most I've ever drafted, yes, Shanghai. So I've drafted, I don't know how many fives. Probably drafted five excavates four times or something. I know I have once a six excavate. Twice seven excavate, and they were both two weeks ago, I think. Uh, and then once eight excavate, and this is it. Mm. So I don't even need to play Ferial. I think digging might just be better here. It's just so much damage being pushed. Kinda of crazy, but I never had a 4 excavate 12. I remember the four, the first time I drafted 4 excavates and the second time I drafted 4 excavates. It was about three or 400 runs after excavates came out. And both of them went 12 without ever playing the legendary treasure. <laughs> Were they 12 0? One was a mage. Um, one was a mage. <laughs> I, I don't remember. One was a mage. Cards themselves are just good, right? I like, like, I think in my mage I had two blast mage miners. They're just so good, right? 
It was like 6 map 4, 4 deep 8 to the board very often. Blown away, Lana. Blown away. Just die with this, but I find Lethal. It was on his channel, Shags, but I think there was some issue with the audio. Um, it was great though. We played one. Um, three and a half hour priest that went 12 1. <laughs> Wait, why is this shiny? Do I go triple? <laughs> Do I go scorpid? Surely I have lethal here, right? Ah, uh, the reason I. Uh, well, uh, I'm always scared mine will crash. It's part of the reason I've been postponing it as well. I have a lot of issues with uh, my PC running stuff. Remember, I'm not just playing Hearthstone. Whilst Hearthstone takes up maybe 10% of my PC, all my setup that I need for streaming takes up about 90% of my PC. Which is a... only about a two and a half year old mid to upper tier gaming PC. There isn't an unfortunate thing there will not be because of some audio issues, Sage. Ah, uh, we were planning to. Yeah, yeah, internet issues are different though. Luckily my internet is fine. But yeah, my PC struggles a little bit. Like, I have to close Discord. Ah, uh, BQQ, thank you for the follow. My specs? How can I easily tell you my specs? I don't remember them. Is Valdi here? <laughs> House manager. Task manager or device manager? These are due back tomorrow. I don't awesome. Okay. I have things you never knew you wanted. Okay. CPU, AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. RAM 16 gig. GPU, RTX 3070 Ti. could be interesting more ram ram and cpu are my breakpoints i think i i think i take it but i play it i think i take it but i play it um, do you actually try, try, try to take care of your eyesight? I mean, how do you actively try to take care of it? Am I not ruining it? Yeah. 
I mean, sure it can give me great combos, but it's a 1 4 right now. I was thinking about taking the 3 2 because of it. Yeah, yeah, when I used to work, I always used to do that. I try and focus. I've done it less and less nowadays. I want to say. I've done it less and less nowadays. But, uh. I used to make sure I used to. Uh, I do it at work. I'm gonna burn a card actually now. Which sucks. Have a weekend next day. Hey, go there. Enjoy your beer, man. But yeah, the streaming does take that much, by the way, to whoever was asking, especially what I'm doing, right? I'm running a full dual setup on the same PC. Which is the issue. 30 seconds every hour. Or something like that. If they have the AoE, they have it. If they don't, we have fusion. Uh, when I was at work, every 45 minutes, one minute, we used to have, it used to be on purpose at work. On, the, on each end of the office, we had like things that you could read. They were just random stuff. They were just meant for eye focus. Everybody needs a casket. And we we used to have a reminder on the intercom to do it. Prediction for Romania, Belgium, two one, Belgium. Mofondi. We used to have one every 40, I think, Drenzin, or it was maybe one and a half every 40. I wonder. Hey, thank you for the raid, my fun there. Give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. See what happens here. Hey Panda, let's get a shout out to my funny. How was your stream, man? Thank you for the huge raid. Mucho apreciado. Shout out to my funny. People were asking about streamers before. There's a lovely one. And thank you for the follow, Hilti. Anyone coming in? I just drafted the most excavates I have ever drafted. Ever. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> so, uh, here we are. You're hopefully in for a treat. Yeah, I don't really do it much anymore, awesome. I try and remember, but sometimes it's already too late. Eight, Mufundi. What's your record, too? About two weeks ago, I complained that... Well, not complained. I was randomly talking, I guess I should say, about never having uh, more than six. And I only ever drafted six once. And then I got seven twice in that week. And eight once now. So my top four, one eight, two sevens, one six over probably about 600 runs now. Oh, yesterday I found YouTube channels that broadcast fake live matches using AI generated gameplay. Really, Drex? With what point? I mean, they're trying really hard here. Damn, I, I wish I could do the double remnant. <laughs> uh. Is there like guaranteed? Oh, 
<sighs> Did my funny tell me? How was your stream, man? Did you get some good runs today, my funny? A few, a uh, few twelves. Don't call it hentai. Do you mean the uh, the octopus? Ah. You always, you always feel it, right, my funny? Um, you always feel it, right? The it's bound to happen at some point soon, kind of thing, right? Ah, uh, we'll keep scarped. Supposedly, by the way, um, you're meant to, there's a new, there's a new thing on YouTube, which came out maybe a month or two ago, where you have to actually define whether something is AI generated. If it's, if it's, uh, replicating a real person, uh, or an event that didn't actually happen, or stuff like this, there's a bunch of questions that you have to answer yes or no to which should automatically tag your video accordingly. And it's part of the setup for a YouTube video. Yeah, 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 Octo Masseus. I forgot what it was called. Our bomb. Annoying, but at the same time we can just sporp it here, right? <laughs> it's all good, man. <laughs> uh, jam session might just be all righty. It's, uh, well, they don't quiz you. It's something about uh, revealing things that are becoming more and more important to make sure people are not cheated by content. I'll take that hit. Am I am I ever lightning storming here? I think I might just nimbus shroom. This is part of the issue with this deck. Um. I almost just have too many spells. Octopel is eight. Yes. I'll hold this back. I think it's a weird card, to be honest. Too much to do. It's less too much to do, and um, a lot of it becomes reactive, right, Dolman? Man, that sucks. I'm sorry, Jigo. I'd rather have this. I don't need more excavates. Damn, I'd love command here, but... This is just better, right? Could take Bloom, but let's just take Tumble. Do this. For my one eight poison. Even when you trade into it, I assume, right? Seems kinda of useless on this buff to rush. But even when you trade into it, if you trade a four four into it, it will die, the four four, right? So it's basically like an eight eight. Um, really and truly. Correct. Because if you're targeting with a spell that has eight health anyway, then the attack doesn't matter. I guess it only matters for things like Serenity. No, I 
I think you're misunderstanding it. Awesome. There's a new card, guys. It's a 4 mana 1 8. That deals 8 times damage to minions. That's it. What if you put that Hunter card with excess damage? I don't think that would work, because I think XX damage... It, it's like the way explosive runes and stuff like that. Excess damage is calculated first, then the damage is multiplied slash delivered. That's, that's how I think it works, Mufundi. Uh, that would be my assumption, anyway. Had commented that was tested dev environment doesn't work. Yeah, that, that's how it would be, right? It would first calculate excess damage, then the remaining damage would be multiplied. The same way like explosive with divine shield work, etc, right? If you go exclamation mark expansion, I think all the cards are linked there. Uh, or the link is a little bit upwards as well. If you're really interested. Yeah, bigger your monger is the thing we're talking about, Tosin. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I could give them the shutter block. I need some hand space there. Right, so that's how it will work. Like if you make it a 3-8, for example, let's let's pretend it's a 3-8 lifesteal. And it's a 3-8 because it has always a bigger Yermonger, right? And it attacks a 1-1, one, one, it would deal two face. Right? And then the one damage going onto the minion would be the three damage going onto the minion, sorry, because it's not X as goes face and doesn't go to the minion, would be multiplied by eight and heal you for 24. What just happened? Oh, sorry. Um. Huh? Yeah, so it wouldn't work. I I think they should all be here, right? I hope my things are working. Are, are, is it being updated on time? Yeah, there you go. They're all there. All the new cards are in that site, I just think. Nice, nice save. Nice save, next D. What do you think about package D? There's a new card. This? Ah, uh, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't think that through, I think, guys. Do I want three wind shields? I think they thought that the Wretched Queen, but it was hexed, right? See in a second, Panda. Let's see. Made you look weird. I look that that That's kinda creepy. It gave me a lot of teeth. <laughs> but it kind of also does look like me at the same time. <laughs> Fiery face doesn't work with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Uh, Panda's an AI expert, guys. Uh, fire in the face does work, by the way. Face, right? Luigi, it just deals no damage. So you deal 12 and they just don't take the damage, right? <laughs> Which maybe isn't what people would want to do. Ouch. Damn. That's a pretty solid play. Whoops. I could have done uh, Storm plus Brasily there. I uh, kept my thing healthy. It's fine though, I think. The courage of man shall not fail. Also, Totem second, because you want to keep it. You also don't want the spell damage, right? That must be painful. <laughs> Twelve twenty. Okay, let's do this as well. I don't think it was, it wasn't. I don't think it was. I'm using up a minion which I lack. I'm using up a minion which I lack to kill it off. To save 6 health on an 8-8 eight, eight, which is still going face and not summoning a 6-6 six, six, and getting overloaded and not using my clunky card whilst I can. Yeah, feels worse to me. BM streamer. BM. Bad mother? Well, you should feel sorry for me then. <laughs> Imagine being loved as a human being. <laughs> yeah, I know. The thing is, the legendary excavate three times does nothing in hand. Um, but on board, it's it's huge. Thank you, brown boy. It's blue. Uh, I don't remember when the meta changed, Gozer, to be honest with you, but we had a big balance patch, I want to say. I'm doing this. And the reason I'm doing this is to activate Marsh Spawn, even though I could play Cactus, but Cactus just died to the 2 1 anyway. Um, we had a balance adjustment that knocked down uh, we, some some cards were changed in the curated pool, some cards were removed, some others were added, and all, most classes were balanced up or down accordingly. Um, using feedback from content creators and also some design data that they have, and uh, it ended up being, uh, I think, a very I think one of the best balance patches we've ever had. Albeit not a fresh meta like some people wanted, some people needed. But I think one of the best balance patches we've ever had. The patch happened. Does anyone know exactly when the patch happened? Three weeks ago? I mean, DK Shaman um, were just so far above all of the other classes, awesome, that all your points would have been DK and Shaman. So. I feel like you would have noticed, maybe. How long do you have in Spain, Gozer? Man, almost tempted to take this. I think I do. May, thank you. Mr. CK! Hey, CK! Let's get a shout out to CK. <laughs> we were talking about earlier. Uh, thank you very much for the raid, man. And how was your stream today, sir? This could give me rock. Yeah, exactly as I go. Exactly as I go, right? 
Because it's not like the others were very good. Aftershocks. Ech. Right. Very nice, CK. Congrats, man. Uh, Dano, I think you've sat on your uh, phone. Dano, Dano, if you're listening, you sat on your phone, Dano. Man, 12 druids go. What was MVP for you, CK? Or oh, cat is on keyboard. I know, I know, Dan, Dan was a, Dan was a nice one. <laughs> Granddaughter pet. If I double piranha here. This would be three and two into that, one into that, three and one into the. I think that's actually fine. <laughs> it's all right, Dano. It's all right, man. Um. See if that was your first message. I'd have been like maybe. <laughs> I know you're. Uh, I know you were not to know. You wouldn't purposely spam stuff like that despite. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Say hello to her. Hello, Senna. See what's in this? The start? Dude, I could keep this for shutter block, but. Excuse me, over here. Oh my god, what's even in Geppetto? I will never have the hand space for Geppetto, actually, screw that. I will never have the hand space for Geppetto, guys. Like, ever. I don't even know if I want a lightning storm here. I think I'm doing this. Let them value trade. I even take spirit mount here, I think, and just go face. 27 minute game. Wow, Lana. Someone added you, CK, and uh, t gave you some nice words. That happens, CK. Don't you worry, it happens. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there was one like a month ago, but uh, lowering the offering rate doesn't mean over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of runs that you can't high roll one, right? Um, this is the most excavate I ever drafted, though, yes. How many arena runs would you consider good sample size to gauge true win rate? I don't know, Nickel. It's hard to say. I would say the average win rates that are shown on the Firestone and our HS replay sites are probably good. The thing is, if you're putting in the word true, then true means you need infinite sample size. Um, really? good estimations with a few thousand for sure. The thing is, Arena is highly variant, unlike Constructed. Constructed is still variant, but Arena is so much more variant, there will always be high standard deviation and high noise. Uh, which a lot of people seem to ignore, right? Oh, for your own? For your own win rate? I actually don't know. Maybe, maybe some more math people can help, but it's very hard because... I would say with uh, 5 to 10 runs, you can probably have a, a relatively good estimate. 
but the truth is there's still such high variance that noise and standard deviation are very large. The 5 to 10 of 1 class will probably be solid. Of your own win rate, you probably need. I even think that you can have a hundred runs and still actually showcase it to be better or worse than you actually are. Uh, I would say. Yeah, Turkey Portugal. Have a good one, CK. Enjoy the game. 30 runs. I think 30 runs can easily be high rolled or low rolled. In stats, you'd need 30 runs of each class. Why? Just for normality? Soul chart, you mean? That would help you estimate deviation, right? And uh, approximate it to a bell curve. Yeah, yeah, same. That would let that would let you approximate it to a normal distribution, but uh, you don't necessarily have to. You could uh, approximate it to other distributions. Uh, and the issue is, I think that irrespective of what distribution you use. Um, standard deviation is very high. For Arena. Like, for example, take me. Uh, take me, right? My average over a year and a half, and I play, what, like a hundred runs a month? So let's say, let's, 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 let's make it easy. Let's say about 2,000 runs. My average is about 7.2. Yet, I have had streaks of 30, where I averaged 10. And I've had streaks of 30, where I averaged about 4.5. So... Yeah. <laughs> Neonetric, thank you for the follow, and you Pagi, thank you for the follow. The courage of man shall not fail. You also improve. I don't think I've improved a lot more since. Awesome. I think I was already quite good at the start of last a year and a half ago. Yes, Trex. Exactly why. It's just I didn't feel like um, Aftershocks was needed, so I took this for this. I'm honestly surprised it took so long for me to get here with this deck. <laughs> yeah? But now I can do this. That's the plan, anyway. Hey, Shippy. Happy weekend, man. You love when you get good enough at something that takes a year to get 0.5% better. Hey, shut up. <laughs> hey, Bohemius. Thank you for gifting one to the shippy man. Right, surely. Not this day. Not this day. Why are you playing against me and watching Glory Day? I'm 
little time. Sorry, guys. Wanted to see if it's you and listen what you say about me, I'm leaving now. Well, yeah, you've seen most of my game. You could watch the game afterwards, but also not queue into me in the first place. Um, I would suggest not queuing into me, watching me, learning without needing to face me, and maybe watching the game afterwards. Well, I won unfair and square. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Oh, wait. Crap. <laughs> the game's over. It's you. I leave now, so I don't see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, you can leave now. In fact, well, you should come back and watch now. You should come back and watch now. <laughs> you know, like... The game is over. You know, like... Huh? Did you by mistake, Arrow Girl, up, 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 um, use streamer mode? Nice, you're welcome, Pahimis. That was for your gifted sub, okay? Alright, let me go to the bathroom quick. Uh, I actually don't remember. There's, You can't find it anywhere. There's a shortcut you can use, Aerogirl, but sometimes it's like a connection issue and you have to restart your client and come back in. There's nothing in settings about it. It is, but I already have it, Lyra. It is. Um, right, let's go for another one. Versus Jane. You asked for it. You are in the court of the elements now. Alrighty. Yeah, so it used to happen to me. Um, it used to happen to me sometimes. Arrow girl, and I had like, and it used to happen to me until I restart. Where it just kind of f's up a little bit. Ah, but maybe you, by mistake, enabled that. A hey, Abasia, welcome. Why not jam session? Why jam session? I value the taunts a lot more than the AoE in this deck. Ah, 
Ah, uh, yeah, could be then, arrow girl. Could be, could be. I got digging, but this is clean right now. I need to sort of empty my hand a little bit. Protects my poison. Oh yeah, this one. This one seems like a pretty sweet one. Pretty sweet one. Your power, limitless. Just keep chip a chip a chipping away. Do I even have hand space for the schooling? I don't. Guitar time, the free bird. Don't use your That's a little annoying. the long game. I'll try win the long game. Really? That was annoying. I feel like I need to keep all of these for my uh, legendary treasure. And like just stall into some AoEs with reflexes. Let's see what's in this. I'd get around a few days ago with Ice Barrier almost every time. That's still pretty good though, right? Oh, I hold it? I could have done that and held it. I could have done that and held it. I feel like if I just keep holding though, I will lose to Chadgar. Although clear sucks versus me. Them generating counter spells as I top deck my excavates and they get countered as they're pushing five face is also losing. That's good though. That's fine. I still prefer this. I still have my Miner, right? Like, we're in a position where my opponent has 10 cards and they still have half their Legendary to go. Starting the operation. Hmm. For a second I thought this was you, Brogue. Okay, just don't face me, okay? Try to purposely not face me. Wow! Wow! We holy moly! Okay, wow. No, it can't do that. Awesome. Thank you, Broger. Because that's, that's the entire point of it being a helpful spell. It does something that is helpful for you, even though people complain that it's never helpful. I want them to reduce the health on this. Yeah, really good buy one, get one freeze into a very good conjures. 
Yes, yes. It can be almost a bad effect, but uh, it's almost never harmful. I have so much room to roll me here. We're in trouble. This has to be my reflexes. And we have to try and hit like Tumbleweed or Double AoE or something. Yeah, helpful doesn't mean best play. But it's not going to fireball your own face ever. They can coin coin conjurers. But then they have to... Yeah, they're going to... Oh, they ping. I thought they would value trade conjurers the five. Guess not. Like here, it will never cast Flame Strike or Blizzard. I don't know what it is in the text, sorry. Seeing what comes out of this first. I might want rather kill the mech with a buff. Yeah, this is game. 6, 12, 13, 14. A little bit of taunt. Yeah, that's why I killed them first. What a scam. I mean, not really that much of a scam. It's the issue of this deck, right? Um, like, sometimes people say the more excavates you have, well, clearly easy 12 0, right? I argue that uh, more excavates does not necessarily make a better deck. Uh, whereas this is a little bit of a case in point, I think. Uh, I'm just too far behind. Uh, I, I don't have enough proactivity. I have a lot of reactivity. But if my opponent can deal damage to me faster than I can react, then I will always lose the game. It's like put it this way. Let's say you have a deck of like 30 digging straight downs. You probably lose that game. Uh, you probably That deck is probably not good, I would say. It highly depends on what you roll from the excavate, obviously, but the legendary treasure becomes useless, for example. Depends a bit on the class, I think. Charm excavate isn't the best. I think all of them, though, Nello. More excavate does not equal better deck. You are in the court of the elements now. Although I think this is a good deck, by the way. It is not me saying this is clearly a bad deck. This is a good deck, I think. Um, a deck that can generate more power faster than I can handle it will beat this deck, though. I think you will follow awesome, Raph, by the way. Warrior for Excavate can often be game-winning and the cards help it stay alive. So, for example, one of my seven Excavate decks was a Warrior and it went, like, four? Nello. Because very often, my opponent was generating ten damage on board and I was healing six and generating a useless Excavate. And by the time I got to my fourth one, if I didn't high roll it, which I didn't, often, because it's very hard to high roll it that much, I lost. It didn't matter if I healed six, because there, I had no two drops, I had no other three drops, I had no like ways of coming back, so it just didn't matter. The game was just over. I could heal six as many times as I won, but I was taking nine every turn. Again, this is not me saying this is a bad deck. I think this is a good deck. Anyway. Um, it's just me explaining why I don't necessarily think that more excavates equals more premium deck. Usually, 
the excavate package is important. Making it... M having more is only about making it more consistent. And that does ne not necessarily make the deck better. How are you healing 6? By playing reinforced plating in Warrior. Speaking of excavates, once you do it 4, that's still over back at 1, yes. Unless you're a, you're a class that doesn't have a legendary excavate, Nickel. Uh, in which case, at 3 it goes back to 1. Ah, you got this, Lana. I'll be at 7-1. And, uh... You'll, you'll have uh, almost finished your game. <laughs> okay, Cockhammer is pretty good. I was hoping to be able to do some Brass Ellie shenanigans, but... I'm not mocking you! I think I had three reinforced plating in the deck actually. I don't know what to do here. Yeah, exactly what to do. Try this here. And hold. Yeah, I could ping it right here, but it's still not good enough, I feel, as neck packs. When was the last time I made Chili Con Carne? Thursday. <laughs> Actually, Mixa, I hadn't made it for a couple of weeks. I made some on Thursday. <laughs> that was, uh, that's interesting. So, like, not yesterday, the day before. It wasn't spicy enough, though. I'll probably buy some chilies this weekend. More, as in some fresh chili. I'm just hoping the poison stays alive or I draw one of my digging straight downs, for example, but... Trade, trade with Shroomscavate. Play this. Start with Shroom then. Pouch of coins. Hmm. Digging. You ever take Don't Stand actually? Maybe in this position I take Don't Stand. I think so. Okay. That's maybe what I should have taken in this deck, actually. I got offered a Baking Soda instead of my, like, 6 to excavate. Uh, that was maybe it. That I should have taken it, right? Yeah, why should they hit here? The 2-1 goes in, they swing, and we're even further behind. I need to get this Fairy Tail out. Hey, Mark, happy weekend! Well, sure, but it also heals me for 10. And the issue is, I'm mostly always behind, so it doesn't really matter. IELTS? International English Language Teaching? It's gonna be like IT, engineering, lecturing teachers. I mean, I, I, I choose when to play it, right? Awesome. It's not like I'm gonna be ahead on board, they have no minions and I play baking soda. It's an English exam. To teach English is a foreign language though, right? Actually, I think. 
We used to call them apples and apples. But I'm not sure. So I could brass Ellie and coin dehydrate, kill these two. I think I just go for the discover here. Don't stand only hits enemies, yes. But baking soda hits both sides. Honestly, I think I just four a I'd say they take this trade. Mm. Now nah, let, let, let's clean up health from the board. What is it again though? What is it? Is it is it is it an exam for you learning English as a foreign language or is it an exam for you to learn how to teach English as a foreign language? Sometimes you also need to have a which only hits theirs. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything, right? Uh, like I, I could equally say, well, sometimes you need heal. Uh, I, I, I didn't get off a. I'm talking about a choice that I had in the draft, so it's, it's irrespective, right? Learning. Uh, your English is really good. But what, what's the point of going back and raising it then? An internationally accepted English proficiency exam. I feel like both of your English are so good. Why aren't you getting tens? Are they testing you on like essay writing? So it's then opinion based and creativity as well? Oh, you need it for your graduation. 10 is almost impossible. Nine is the highest. I got a 10 mark, okay? I got a 10 mark. <laughs> Writing, speaking, reading, listening. Speaking English is easier than studying English. That's true. Like, for example, when I was at school, I had English at school, right? As at a basic level, obviously. I was younger. Um, it used to t it used to go like fill in the blanks with the past participle and then uh, fill in the blanks with the adjective and the future tense and I'd look at it I go I have no idea what you're talking about but I think this word fits and I would get it right because the other words don't fit I don't know how to explain it. Let the games begin. I I don't know how to explain it. Court of the elements now. Um. So I used to suffer a lot more with literature, for example, and uh, creative writing, because your grasp of the language is not the sole adjudicator of the outcome. If that makes sense. It's also not very helpful when actually speaking to native speakers. Super proper grammar is hardly ever used in daily speaking. Nah, it is though, right? It is though, right? Like, if I say I was, you're gonna think it's something in my past, not in my future. Do you know what I mean though? I mean, if you're talking about like, oh, on God, ruffle, 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 mau, ruffle, and then that's a different story. 
Also, the listening part is BS. They record conversations on an Xbox 360 mic in a COD lobby with a construction going on in the background. Real life, basically. Got it. <laughs> Am I hexing this? I honestly might. It's just an annoying card, right? What else am I hexing from a mage? Big stuff. Hmm. Well, hold on. Ooh. I could dehydrate the first half. I'm taking cold storage for their titan, though, okay? Just, just trust. For the note for priest lovers and those. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's just puppet theater and raise my body, not her pirate ship. Yeah, the death rail doesn't stick. Death rail doesn't stick. Yeah, can you imagine? I won't even steal the Titan as Nectax, I'll steal the Azerite Hawk, right? And then play it with my Shudder Blood. Okay, I do have schooling now. So now what? I need to empty my hand without playing battle craze. Ah, because I have Shudder Block. Active. Is why. Just beat a warlock who mana cheated the whole game. Good. Beat them cheaters. Yes, yes, kill it, but don't AoE me. Okay, no stop, no AoE. Um, I might triple evolve if I have a board. Triple evolving the deck doesn't make a difference. Only triple evolving the board makes a difference. So if I keep these totems, I will. Like now, I might. Hmm. Now maybe less so. Probably I could shudder block schooling and then Merla. Oh, I could have played the fish first, right? Mm. I mean, I know I lose the battle cry, but I don't want to shuffle my hand, I think. I could have played the fish first, right? Maybe.
Yeah, shuffling will remove the mana cheat. Uh, because these aren't tradable, so they don't keep it. I think we're still fine, by the way, but... Just thinking here. Really good cryo press is... But at the same time, I don't even want to draw, so... Doesn't even really matter. I, I know I could, uh, whatever. Just, it just doesn't matter. <clears> that <throat> this game is Javert. Completely Javert. Ah, Skullamance. Now that takes me back. Things have like evolved in Prestair are much worse compared to the past. Depends on the pool. Right now, although since we had the curated pool laws awesome, in first, the, the pool was the entire history of all cards that existed. Which actually made it bad because the average outcome is older than two years ago. It, it's more likely to be five years old, which sucks. Now... It's about five years old, which still means it's probably likely to be about three years old, which is also not very good. The pools are just very large. That sucks. Um, uh, as neck tax, I'm sorry. That sucks for you as well, Bedmaster. Sometimes it happens. I, I, I've had really good decks and uh, I've been struggling with my results the last week and a half. Yesterday was a... Uh, a very nice breather stream where I rolled good decks and I didn't get scammed as much or I scammed back enough to, to not to overcome the scamming. Excavate time! Oh geez Nello, I'm glad you dodged the popo though. Um, so to answer you Cap, I do know that there is a retire queue so if you retire your runs you do end up in a separate queue. So there are ideas that people might dodge it on purpose doing stuff like that. But I will have to say that I don't see it that often. In fact, I think it's only happened to me twice since the retire queue was implemented. So it's probably just a coincidence. Uh, the achievement is for getting 12-0, so conceding does not make sense for that. Awesome. If you go 12-2 after starting 0-2, you don't get a 12-0 achievement. They love a little fiddle. Yes, deck has a lot of excavates, and it is pretty good as well. I think I actually do this. Hydrate, of course. Just about to pour myself a coffee as well, Luigi. No, that, does, that doesn't work, person. I could kill this. I think we do this, then. Oh, to go for a new run. Oh, let Way less people do that than you think, though. In fact, I only know one person that does that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I thought you meant to get the 12-0 achievement in that run. Oh lord, we are still in trouble, man. Look at- holy crap, man. We are still in trouble. We are still in trouble. Well, he is here, but he's he's been busy with work. He's playing some uh, Slade Spire recently, actually. 
Hey, <laughs> no legs gamers. Well, I'm not sure if you're talking about me. What to do? I think I do this and pull up another schooling. Yeah, there it is. See? That way they can double trade, but the 2 2 can't value trade. Yeah, yeah. You've been busy with work a lot, but you're playing a lot of Slay, right? Recently, I thought. <laughs> well, glad to hear you. You've uh, you've improved. So if I go for the full schooling, I end up with a four. Yeah, that's the line, right? Or a five, whatever. Whew. Astounding. Hey, you had patchwork. It's both astounding. Okay, so we have we have a bunch of excavates. We can go three. And two. Sorry to discover. I could also go double well, but I probably shroom. Do I want a lightning bloom? This isn't that good. None of these are really that good. Maybe I take bloom, but not now for a, for a later swing turn. Now I just do this and pre-hit here. Do they really want Bong Bong? I don't want to bloom now because I don't think the effect I gain from it now is worth the overload next turn. That's the issue. This is two mana, but it's two mana that you spend now and not next turn, so it's not gaining mana over two turns. Finding Storm now is insane though. Honestly, I think I take um, uh, all third card. I need heal, right? Could you use it now and then next turn all third card? That's interesting. I do like once upon a time, but it's not what I think I need right now. Also, just do it next turn straight up. Tempted to shroom this in case they got another patchwork. I think I hold because they could have gotten Kolkar or Sneaky anyway. Ah, uh, Amber Drake! Three months already, Amber Drake! Thanks for the resub. Yeah, I love Once Upon a Time, but it's not what I need right now. I could Shroom. That is not from Welp, that is another Patchwork Pals. What's wrong? It's just not what I need right now. I don't need board development. Right? I'd rather get Altered Card, because I'm dying. I can also prevent damage, not if they're playing Hopper and going face and hero powering me, it can't. I'm down to 14 versus a hunter that's ripping face and throwing everything face. 
just a free to play Kazakusan into Mali into 23 from hand books book of the dead and that's pretty good too I think I live in horizon start by seeing what's in this trade value trade Oh, I could Ancestral. If I Ancestral... I think I Ancestral. This costs four, so I can play another one. The sun Which means I think I do this. I think I take the trade because of the Divine Shield and kill this up. I would normally take once upon a time, but... Versus a double patchwork hunter that might have also had another one. When I'm at 14 and going second and overloaded. Uh, I, I still feel like I'm in trouble to be honest. I know I could find like collapse or something, but One two can kill this, the four or five can trade, the scorpion can come back, I have draw and I have my excavates. Yeah, double pure cold and book. Kazakusan can deal a lot of damage and drawing all of the Kazakusan cards is really good. I'm not in trouble, Skylar. I am the trouble! I've got exotic wares and funnel cake. Keep this divine shielded. I mean, the question is do you ever Azerite Murloc here straight up? I don't know, because I feel like I want to do this. I think the line is this, honestly. They can draw too. But now I can heal, play this, then this. And uh, playing these also means I get a better evolve, hopefully. It is safe, but a 3 mana 4 3 is pretty good. At least they lose their uh, draw. Okay, well, they were almost out of cards. Walter was cooking before, it was good. I take it back. Okay, that's good for me. This is not a position I think they can they can win with this. Oh, jeez. Here's Milrogue. Yeah, Milrogue could be good, but uh, we're kind of tied. Still 12 cards away. Um... So, I don't think they can win with it. My hand is almost empty as well. So 
so I think it's fine. I can mana cheat now. Yeah, they can vanish and then make me draw. They almost don't want to vanish this, right? Or this. Uh, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They probably vanish, is the, the issue. You must rock view it. I think it'll just be moot though, right? They're gonna vanish. Don't you know who I am? And it doesn't really matter. I, I will do it, but both of us will just spend all of our mana. I think I'm the one that's less likely to spend all of my mana than them. Which is they can just draw a bunch. Yeah, they also, I'm not sure they know exactly how to play the hearth hand. I want to say I can imagine I have this hand. It's good content to deal with though. It's good content to deal with though. It's good content to deal with though. <laughs> it, it's good content to deal with okay it, it's good content to deal with i actually don't know awesome I, I don't know does that card do so it becomes at the end of your turn take a damage or if you spend all your mana like you end with zero it becomes 10 and comes in my hand and you just keep doing that i mean why would you why would you do that? What? Huh? Feel like it explodes in their hand or in mine? Drink with me, friend. My hand is too full. There you go. So now what? Sweet content, guys. Don't you know who I am? It's boogie time. Embrace the gift of death as I am. Sure, he thinks it stacks. Uh, maybe they wanted to spend all of their mana, but they could have just done it after. I guess so. Uh, they could honestly beat me. Still.
Maybe I had to sleep. There's no way they can kill me here, right? Damn. We'll get you back on someone's feet. But of what synergy, actually. <laughs> Was it though, Mohammed? Was it? I had to get through the taunt. But I guess now I could still awaken some rock. Was it? It was exactly Phil. I missed it if so. Um well I I squelched them to be fair, right there. But you're right, actually. I think it, were they at 13? They were at 13, it was, because I had enough mana to do it, right? You are in the court of the elements now. Yeah, I didn't see it. I think you might be right, Mohammed. I do this anyway. It's like getting these whelpies. But just play feral anyway. Protect this. So I could have gotten a coin. I prefer getting this out. If they don't have tooth, I can protect it. Backstab. <laughs> Hey, I'm great at predictions. The only the only game I predicted, the only Euro football game I predicted the score of, I was correct. So there you have it. Job's done. Yeah, I, I I'm not sure. I didn't see it at first, but maybe maybe it was lethal. I don't remember which game it was. Maybe someone can uh, tell. Hey, free ball! Mostly their kingdom coming from a 12 demon hunter, which doesn't happen often. That does not happen often at all. So I'm in a good mood and want to wish you some good luck. Awesome! Thank you for the good luck and uh, congrats on your result. Hey, Nolan, happy weekend! This meta is actually quite balanced, I want to say, Nolan. Ah, uh, but it's a little stale for me, given I play so much. Does Malt ever qualify? No, never, I think. I, I don't think so. Uh, the expansion comes out in a month, Nolan, so still a little bit longer to go. I don't think there is a national sport. They're probably the best at rugby, though. Yep, done. But more people love football. They're just not good enough. These. <laughs> oh, I'm just them. Yeah, the, the expansion came out. A mini set came out a month ago. Maybe that's it. I actually prefer that. All in. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. Marion's part of the reason. Do you think Seraphine is a better version of the Shaman Excavate Legendary? No. I mean, yes in the um, yes in the sense that you don't have to excavate to get there, but no in its effect. Right here. Murloc evolves by two, evolves by three. This doesn't even evolve. This gives you randoms. They could all cost. They could all be like zero mana one ones that cost zero. It's not even guaranteeing you anything. They could also all be ten cards that cost seven. It's also five mana. But you don't have to excavate to get there. I could store. I feel like I need to kill this. Three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder. Think they're with bunker and schooling. Like full clear. Maybe it's better. I live in England, but I'm originally from Malta, so I go three, two, one, three, one, two. The courage of man. I'll keep a 2 for that 3 1. I'm the fourth most famous person in Malta. No. <laughs> I doubt it. Nah, probably not, Nolan. Yo, I love your badge, by the way. Raging Wolf. That looks cool. I don't like the quality of life there in general, Nolan. The thing that I miss the most is the comfort of knowing the place. You know, that sort of feeling of being at ease because you know everywhere, you know where to get anything, etc. Um, and people, but still. Pack the house. I live in England now, but I'm originally from Malta, yes. The calm before the storm. I don't... What is a malt drink? Gangplank Diver plus Mosh Pit is stupid. Do you remember? Did you used to play Nilo when Gangplank Diver played on 6? In, or 7 into criminal lineup used to be GG. Did he used to play in that meta? Oh, malt is like beer. I, mean, I don't really drink anymore, but I do have a beer sometimes. And Gangbang was already very good, yes. John Bourne. Thank you for the follow, John. Ah, uh, but that combo used to be... Oh, I've never had Milo. Never had Milo. Hey, Astelensky, thank you for the follow as well. So I could pack Archivist Rock Rager. Not bad, very good. Horrible, very good. Milo is very common in Asian countries, but you don't really find it elsewhere. Awesome, it's, it's a very Asian thing, I think. 
I had never heard of it before, for example. Buy one, get one freeze, and Funhouse Mirror, very good with Gangplank, right, Nilo? What's Malta famous for? Nothing that I know of. Oh, it's like Oval Team. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I used to have Oval Team when I was young. Sorry, we don't have any ink. Popular in Australia, so maybe I should have said Eastern World then. Hex. Uh, has to be. I don't know about here. I'm older now, so I don't explore things as much as I used to. A lot of things I know about, I usually would have learned about 10 years ago, 20 years ago, as a child or anything like that, you know? By the way, Nola, I am excited for the expansion of the month. I feel like we need it. Despite the balance, I feel like we need it. Uh, I want I want to be playing different things again, you know? Finally done with everything, can go home without having to work tomorrow. I hope you don't get called in for a 14-hour one. What is older, Hex or Fireball? They came out both in Classic, as far as I know. They're both Classic uh, basic spells. I hope so, my friendly. I hope so. Usually we get an arena rotation every two months. This time we didn't get an ar arena rotation after two months and now we're on the third month. I will say I loved the curated pool. So the, the thing we got changed now three months ago, I think was a great change, but also came with getting staler faster. So skipping the two month in change was worse. And then a month later, we got one of the best balance changes ever. But yeah, still stale for me. No, the balance change came after. Ah, uh, no legs. The uh, lack of a rotation was a miss from their end. Well, rather they put it, they said that it wasn't their intention. They said it wasn't their intention. Uh, but instead they implemented the Discover change, which is a great technical improvement back end. We've never had the Discover pool change that way. But, uh... I want a rotation as well. Isn't the main thing of the next expansion weird for Arena with the tourist stuff? Why is it weird? Yeah, for sure. I think it's a great balance patch. They need to ask those for feedback more often, Zinni. That's why I waited one for the cactus, knowing I could hit digging. Yeah, never heard that one before, Tiber. <laughs> Face. That could be very good. I know I could storm. The calm before the storm. 
I push in place. If you don't have the tourist, you can't have cards from the I class, and you won't have the tourist very often because it's legendary. I assume the tourist card won't be an arena free ball, though. I was talking about this. They would have to implement so many more things just to have them in arena that I doubt it will happen. Say what? Huh? Say what? Huh? What now? <laughs> I can still see it, especially after I deleted it. <laughs> yeah, I will say though, every expansion, not mini set, every expansion. They have tried something new that is over and above a rotation. Um, uh, so we had, first they started banning both good and bad cards and improving their balance in the Titans. That was an ech. And then we had the legendary first change, right? If our draft mechanic changed, we had the duels treasures, we had the curated pool, right? They're always trying something new. No. I think five is the most I've done so far, my fundy. I feel like I take a tumbleweed just in case. Of course I like the the thing over and above. I could go face. Let's just give them trouble dealing again. That would have been cool, Valdi. I think, though, they tried to design things that align to it, right? Uh, it's probably a, uh, a foresight thought as well, Valdi. Like, you can't go back and change them. So they might be thinking about... Remember, they, they, they start design planning expansions about two and a half to three years in advance. So... They already... No 2026 expansions. Well, yes, Valdi, but... Releasing stuff and then going back and changing it usually causes havoc. A lot of it, I might say.
No, I don't usually do a set review, Jigo. I mean, I knew this would be devolved, but I didn't think it would be devolved this much. Same here. <laughs> Werda, thanks for the follow, Werda. It does, actually. It has this, uh... I don't even know the word for it. Somber? Is that a word? You call that a blade? I've got three. The somber word. Vibe. I don't even know how to say it if I'm even saying the right word. Shut up, kid. Okay. Hey, Shadow Dragon! Watching Dress jump between 1 star and 5 star for a card, seeing the review is always fun. That's part of the thing, so for me, Nello! I would only do a review, like, I personally don't care about it for myself. So I'd only do a review if it's good content on stream, and I feel like a lot of people... I feel like it's very split. People who like reviews and people who don't. And from the people who like it, there's yet another subset that just prefer to watch someone else do it, or don't like to watch two reviews. And I'm in this position where... I'm doing a review where I truly and honestly believe that most of the strength of cards is actually based on the meta and the rotation. Trying to judge cards in a vacuum only for people to come back and say you were wrong because now it's good in this meta and a meta that you couldn't have foreseen because you have no idea about it. Usually I do it if like arenas locked out or something like that. I have done a couple before but I usually don't do it. I like the signatures nowadays, no legs, yeah. Keep scooting. Why don't you want to be a meme? It's not about being a meme, it's like... I, I don't see the gain in doing it at that point. Right, like... It's not something I enjoy doing. So, like, forcing myself to do something that has a net negative aspect for me. I don't think it is, though. Attack Titan, that's the thing. It takes so much more effort for less reward than a normal run. Oppressively solemn or sober in mood, grave. That's what I meant, Grove Ritten, so I was right. Not sombre, bro. Hey, thank you so much for the four months, Angel. Uh, I'll take it. Fourth most famous person? That's pretty good, right? That's, that's pretty darn good, right? That's, that's pretty good, right? Nice, I had a question. Dr. Inafi, I just wanted some advice. I'm playing as a Kazakhstan Druid, assuming an even board, would you play it as soon as it's active? It very much depends on how you feel the state of the game is going. Do you think the Kazakhstan treasures can get you there even if you lower a little bit? Are there some key cards you're still looking for in your deck? I feel they're important things. It reminded me of when Dreads rated Showdown before he saw Prismatic. For example, and those are clearly going to both be in. Uh, usually, the sooner you can play it, the better, because the cards are most likely way better than most of your deck. 
right? And it's harder to play the card because the card is slow on the turn you play it. It usually starts getting good from the turn afterwards. Yeah, I, I get you, Nickel, but I feel like the average person m has more of what... I think the average person is closer to what KFK is saying. The, sure, you can do a review, but I'm probably not going to watch the whole thing, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to go back and watch it again. views were goated also at the time where there were a lot more people interested in uh, the state of Heightstone though right there is a little bit of a detachment as well right because if you're doing a review in terms of arena then only a subset of arena will even care about it they're taking the seven. <laughs> uh. What does GG even do now? I thought they quit or whatever. They stopped. I have to remember this Congo face. But I can just cactus now, right? C cactus. <laughs> I mean, it is rush, but holy crap, that sucks. So actually, this. Almost ruined my lethal. I'm actually curious how Cactus works. So now this goes face, right? Well, yeah, net decking has become a thing. I spoke about this before. How net decking. Net decking is. A downfall of meta evolution and staleness, or a downfall of meta evolution and freshness, I should say. Um, but the rising of the ability for more casual players to feel like they can compete playing. Now you can still target face, my fun. This just deals zero every time. I'm pretty sure you could still target face. Enough people have come in here and told me that uh, they missed lethal because it dealt zero. That I think you can still do it. I've never tried, but I think you can still do it. Hey, Kurami. Oh my God, David. Luckily, yesterday, uh, I increased it from what it was. Hi, Melody. 
even double coin too here. It's a very interesting theme in POE. For instance, people copy builds from top players and then feel the light severe to other ARG players because they're masters of the higher RPG. I mean, I was third though, David. I've just been progressively declining over a week and a half. Uh, yesterday I was 68th. <laughs> I don't think I know one digging. I think I go with this. Um. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's the worst. The Before yesterday, it was the worst average I had all expansion. I know, that's what I thought to myself. Oh, yeah, it's not bad, but relative to how I've been performing this meta, it is. Not bad at all. So for example, I always mention this, this is a unique example because it's not the norm, but when Shodan came out, my first warrior was a deep miner Bran Tendi Warrior. It took a month of people complaining the meta's completely stale and no decks can compete and everything needs to be nerfed and the devs don't care at all, their data sucks and there's nothing they can do ever, no decks can compete, no classes can compete, for a new class warrior to emerge as so OP they had to nerf Bran. And that is one of the downfalls of net decking. You could use a trim. What's with you guys getting this murder cookie? But I always say this, Jay. If I played a hundred once upon a time and once rolled cookie, which I think it is actually the only time I've rolled cookie, if you ignore the other 99 times, then I always roll cookie. Think about it. Am I taking the freaking trade? I think this happens. It's whether I shroom trade. Good value trade in shroom. Good afternoon, Saskila. Mm, could throw this into it. I think that's actually the line. I have nothing against it, KFK. It is great for newer players to get into the game, for casual players to feel like they compete, for people who also are uncertain about things. Like, I, I feel that way as well in some games. What packs should I get? What decks should I make? What's the best efficiency of my dust? Because I can't play enough to get thousands of dust, or I can't pay enough to buy the full collections. That net decking is perfect for that, and that is a, a larger majority. But it also, leads to meta staleness and lack of meta development and usually also potentially a worse player perception for meta balance where people think people are making devs are making correct decisions without the meta being fully developed for example what a draw No, I mean, net decking is good. It's a good thing. But as with everything in life, there's positives and negatives, right? That's just how it goes. And that's fine. And that's fine. Remember at the very beginning, right after next first expansion ever, the team would insist that there's still a secret good priest archetype that nobody managed to discover. Then they proceeded to make the purify priest. So yeah, some people remember those kinds of situations and will remain skeptical at the death team. Oh yeah, and skepticism is completely fine as well. I just mean, 
if I were to, ignoring dumb stuff like that, because that's just dumb Babylon, but if you look at something straight up, like people complaining how the meta is stale, complaining the devs aren't targeting the correct way of the meta, and then without the devs doing anything, the meta completely shifts and evolves. And then all of a sudden you're just left thinking a little bit like, huh? So I've played Beast Dragon Ellie. Play one. Also that KFK, yeah, yeah. There's always positives and negatives to something. I think it's important. I do this a lot when I'm streaming, and sometimes people take it that I'm just trying to be contrarian. But I think it's important to sometimes see the other side of the coin that you are so aggressively pushing. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One off. So do I because I'm one off, do I bother playing hex? Maybe just drop them to one. I can, but I'm one off because I have to play these, right? So. So I think I'll just do this now instead. And hold back the weapon swing. Mm, actually, I'll swing. So if they play a bunch of taunts, I can deal three with this. Easy refresh, change my rank decks. Easy peasy. Hate to be forced into crafting certain meta decks. That's also fair. I think people should. It's a game, right? People should play how they enjoy playing. For me, it's not about playing Devil's Advocate necessarily, or, although I do do that sometimes. Still fair. Sometimes people are so adamant about what they're saying, what they're thinking, and that there is no other right. They don't even think about uh, the other side. I'm sure this is stupid, right? I think the best criticism, feedback, and response comes from having your mind open to the other side as well. They didn't have corpses, Jay, yeah. They used them all on the 8-8. Eight, eight. Thinking devs are competent at their jobs is just incorrect. I'm not gonna go into this discussion. We've had it before, apples. You can always single out parts of something that make it seem like your argument is clearly and 100% correct. I can tell you, for example, that quite obviously these cards were designed two years ago. And I know these things for a fact because their design process is about three years long. Now they would have been amended over the course of those two years, but just because they released a card which clashes with a current event of an attacking bot wave doesn't make them all completely incompetent. Now, I'm not trying to say they're clearly all competent. I'm sure some of them are incompetent. But using that as a reason to say they are obviously all incompetent humans, I, I, I will disagree there as well. Uh, Dad learns a skill. Welcome to the channel. Hello, I'm thinking about spending a fair bit of dust on new priest deck. Would you wait until the new expansion or crack on? So I might not be the best person to uh, give you the feedback here since we all play Arena on this channel. Uh, but I would probably wait for a new expansion right now, especially if you're talking about a fair bit of dust. The meta will probably change quite a bit. 
Um, someone who plays a lot more standard might be able to give you some more direction. No going to believe this. Well, that depends. That learns a skill, right? Are you all right? Uh, do you have 5,000, 500,000 deaths? Or a 6k dust, all the dust you'll have for two years? The meta will probably shift enough to where whatever deck you want will not be the main meta deck in a month. Um, you take that as you may. If you want to spend a month playing that deck and that is worth it for you, that's fine. Ah, Trumpico, thank you for the follow. Yeah, but... Uh, again, I, I, I will always say this, right? CS Apple, so you're grabbing one interaction of one bot combo in a mode that is severely under-resourced because nobody plays it in comparison to 99% of the population and saying because of that, all devs are always incompetent. Do you understand the generalization that doesn't make sense to me? Though, what to do? Take shelter. I'll get rid of that. Again, I'm not trying to prove that they're all competent. I'm just saying generalizations like that don't help. That is a crappy part of the game, but... New cards being designed that suck for bots that they're trying to address in a subset of the least played mode in the game I think is not the reason to generalize and destroy and trash everything they do in every mode of the entire game. Even though it might still be true, that is not the core reason that logically creates that argument. In my opinion, anyway. Take shelter. Hmm. I want a shroomies. And do this. Bargain bin. They get the double draw. It's probably bait again then. Let's protect this. Hey Trumpico, welcome to the channel. I mean, I would again dad learns this guy. I would probably ask a standard streamer. They will be able to help you a lot more for sure. Um If you're new to the game, you should have loner decks though. And those decks are probably way better than a basic priest deck. And some of them should be able to get you closer to Legend. A better deck does not guarantee you Legend. You also have to learn the game a little bit yourself, right? Um, but it depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to uh, get that Priest deck just because you enjoy it... then that's different still, right? Okay. Let's think about this a little bit. I got schooling. Three. It's probably actually fine. this hey smalls happy weekend bad positioning in the end for me very bad positioning Um, I will, I'm going to stop the conversation because it's useless, right, Apples? We obviously both disagree, or rather, I don't disagree with you. 
I just think you're too narrow-minded in your logical conclusions, even though you're right about some of the sequence. But I will say this, and then you can say what you want, but I will not continue the conversation myself. You're saying, how hard is it for a human to think maybe this is a bad idea? How hard is it for you to assume that changing one card in a pool of several thousand cards may not have the effect you intended and may cause unintended effects that you did not foresee and then readjusting to that? That's everything in life, not just in Hearthstone. Most people react, understand, and re-react. Theoretically creating a perfect future scenario and then executing perfectly 100% of the time happens in nothing. And everyone that always complains about that not happening just clearly doesn't understand 100% of processes in the world. Landslide's pretty good. They could probably do a better job. I will give you that. I, I, without a doubt. I, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm sure let's rip this. Just be the guy with Kalimos, Wok, Wish, and Soda. There are still good shamans around. <laughs> hey, Nickel. I think overall they could do a better job. I will say that. I, I think they could do a better job. <laughs> so I'm not denying that. I just was explaining about how I think that you do have to... Look at the person a bit of a wider lens sometimes, though, also. Especially when I'm usually in a position where I would love to provide feedback and I'm able to. It has to be uh, well-versed and acknowledged, uh, constructive feedback. Understanding things from the lens of the person you're complaining about and from the world they're in is something that people really find hard to do and uh, or don't try at all, I would say. Maybe it's just like something for, for engineering from me or whatever, but... The thing we always learned is, if you want to improve the process of a customer, of a contractor, of a project manager, you need to see it from their shoes, not complain about your, their output in the end, unfortunately. Empathy? I'm not sure it's empathy, though. I don't know. Do I want to Azurai Merlokes? Could be pretty darn good. Uh, let's start with this. I don't think I'm playing it yet, though. Doesn't feel like the best. Hmm, I thought... I guess I'm wrong, but I thought empathy had to do with emotional. The emotional aspect. Rather than just the other one. Rather than just the other one. Two definitions. <laughs> Fair. Oh, sympathy is the emotional one. Oh. I was wrong then. Can they survive? Yeah, they can! Hey! Hey! <laughs> um, 
Um, I mean, Storm could be really good. I need to kill this thing. What's the chance I get Storm? I have one, two, three, four, five. Maybe it's better. I don't have hand space for this. Hmm. I probably just Azurai Murloc though, right? Yeah, let's just do it. Kagata. Gen Grey, man. Okay. I want to kill this. But now I can't. Put Shroom into it though. Rock, rush. It's <laughs> gone alright, slice, slice. Hey, good to see you. We're getting there. Empathy is the ability to connect with someone else's emotions, but wouldn't be empathy if you already explain them logically. A psychopath could explain it logically, but not really feel it. Uh oh, I guess I'm a psychopath. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would expect Wild to be a little balanced KFK, but at the same time, it's also the hardest to balance. Because in, in a realm of... I don't even know, how many cards exist in Hearthstone now? Ten years of power crept cards? As soon as you kill one top card, the second one will suddenly emerge as a huge power outlier, and then suddenly you, you assume that they made the, hor the most horrible change. And then you hate a particular playstyle, so if that playstyle emerges, then what they did is wrong. And uh, if you loved the playstyle where you were destroying everyone with a one mana turn one combo and suddenly they nerfed that, then you hate what they did because that is wrong. There's just too many cards for it to be like... Also, I also think that like true balance doesn't even exist. And it would actually suck, almost, I want to say. We are actually... That's 12 wins. And with that... We're not there. Well, uh, I can already see it. How lucky can you be? Eight excavates. Every time I watch you play, you draft eight excavates. Yeah, eight excavates is lucky. Um, uh, and I do. I, I draft at minimum eight excavates in every single one of my decks, which is why if you're watching on YouTube, you should subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you're watching on Twitch, you should drop me a follow. If you're watching on Twitch, you should check out my YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, you should come over to my Twitch. Because I can't post all of these e eight excavate decks that I keep getting. Uh, so you're going to see some of them on the other channel. <laughs> this has to be one of the best area decks I've ever seen. I don't think it is. I think it's a very good one. But I don't think it's one of the best arena decks ever. Um, but it's a very good one, especially, especially for Shaman in this meta where it's been, uh, it's been dialed down. Um, eight excavates is the most I've ever drafted in all seriousness. Uh, this is an extremely good Shaman as well. Um, and it has a lot of key pieces. Double schooling was super important. Uh, double schooling is super important. And uh, triple digging is super important. And then obviously some premium other pieces. Let's go on, move into another one. But let's check out the rewards I've already said. If you are watching on YouTube, please do support the channel somehow if you enjoy that run. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments. Let's, uh, let's see this. Who has the biggest D challenge? What is the most excavates you've seen in a deck? 
eight from my end, but let me know.